In this video, we'll be talking about Shine Dalgarno and Kozak sequence. This video is included in the series called Quick Concept, where we discuss concepts within 3 to 4 minutes. Shine Dalgarno sequence is present in the prokaryotic mRNA in the 5' UTR. Here is the Shine Dalgarno sequence. And this particular sequence is important for ribosomal subunit to bind towards the mRNA. Here is the start codon and here is the shine dalgarno sequence. You can see shine dalgarno sequence is a purine rich uh, sequence which contains mostly A and G. And the shine dalgarno sequence is complementary to the anti shine dalgarno sequence in the small ribosomal subunit. Actually, the 16S rRNA portion present in the small a ribosomal subunit is actually complementary to this shine dalgarno sequence this facilitates the ribosome binding to the shine dalgarno sequence and this is crucial step in translation initiation it ensures the elongation factor bound trna can locate the start coton in more proficient way it ensures the ribosome starts translating the mrna from the correct position and it does not mess up this situation. So it really uh, improvises the precision of this procedure. Just like uh, Scheindalgarno sequence is present in the prokaryotes, eukaryotes has Kozak sequence. Kozak sequence is a bit different and Kozak sequence internally contains the start code on AUG. And it so basically Kozak sequence has a similar function. It helps identifying the correct start code on for protein synthesis to happen. Now, the consensus sequence for uh, Kozak sequence has the start codon inside it. And it is also included in the 5' UTR of the eukaryotic mRNA. So this helps the ribosomal small subunit to be recruited in the cap. And ribosomal subunit can literally scan the 5' UTR to locate the first start codon. And thereby, ribosomal assembly happens and translation initiation begins in the eukaryotes. It's important to note that various Kozak sequences might have might affect the translation efficiency. If the Kozak sequence is strong, it enhances the recognition of the correct AUG codon. If it is weak, then it might lead to initiation, down, initiation of translation from any downstream start codon and it should not start the translation from a proper orientation. Again, like Shine Dalgarno sequence, Kozak sequence also ensure the precision of translation initiation. I hope this is useful. See you in next video.